The Kasatu Federation of Trade Unions has always vigorously defended President Jacob Zuma until now. The president's sacking of Finance Minister Pravin Gordon has had serious consequences for the economy and prompted Kusatu to also call for Zuma to go. The protest group Save SA has set up camp outside the Treasury and welcomed the additional pressure on Zuma. We are happy that Kusatu, uh, a, a trade union which has got history in South Africa, is saying that Zuma must go. Uh, they have come to their senses, we are appreciative of that. The unprecedented move by Kasatu is important because it's in an alliance with the governing African National Congress and the South African Communist Party, which has already called for Zuma to go. But ultimately, the president's fate rests with the ANC. The leaders of the ANC are divided. The scrutiny of credit ratings agencies is adding to the pressure on them. Standard & Poor's has downgraded South Africa's credit rating to junk status, blaming political uncertainty and the abrupt sacking of the finance minister. His replacement could be facing a crisis less than a week into the job. We do need to address the perceptions about the, the political stability, the risks and, 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 and uncertainties they are talking about, the policy um, uncertainties that they have to reassure them of our intention to stay the cause. Junk status means the likelihood of there being a job for these unemployed security guards when they reach the front of this queue is more unlikely. Higher borrowing costs means the government will also have less money for investment projects aimed at stimulating the sluggish economy. The RAND currency is also losing more value. In these troubled economic and political times, South Africans are watching how their leaders respond, ready for more turmoil. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Pretoria.